Hey everybody, it's Knox from The Bunker, and I just wanted to make a quick video, real quick, uh, about a tool that I've been using a lot. In fact, I've gotten to the point to where I install this tool every time I get a new Linux machine. So uh, it is called Shell GPT, and it's really simple to install if you're on a Ubuntu machine. Um, you're just going to pip install it. So in my case, it would be pip install shell GPT like that. Okay. And as you can see, I've already installed it. It's already there. If that doesn't work for you for some reason, sometimes the good old Python 3-M for module pip install shell GPT, either way, it should be installed. Now, the other way you can check if you're on a good old Linux machine is you can do which shell GPT, SGPT, like that, exactly like that. And there it is. It's installed. You might have to restart your terminal to get it to take effect, but I don't think I had to. Uh, the first time you use it, it's going to ask you for a OpenAI API key. Now, you'll have to go and get one of those from OpenAI. I'm not going to take the time right now to go show you how to do that. You, you guys can go figure that out, but you need to go get your OpenAI API key. You will run this. It will pop up and say, you need to give me the key and you will paste it in, you won't see anything because it's like pasting in a password, right? It doesn't show you uh, what you pasted. So I know the first time I did it, I messed it up because I, I hit paste and I thought, oh, I don't see anything, but that's because it's using a password field. And then I did it again and I had double API key and I had to go into the file and fix it. So don't do that, just paste it once. Uh, the other alternative is to um, is to have the OpenAI uh, API uh, environmental variable, and if you do that, then then you don't need to uh, you don't even need to put it in. It'll just automatically pick it up. So if you've got the OpenAI uh, variable inside uh, your machine. There it is, OpenAI API key. I am not going to hit enter because I don't want to show you my key, but I have it just stored as a environmental variable in my bash RC. And then you can use that. All right, so now on to the super cool stuff. So this is it, SGPT. Uh, we're going to ask it who uh, created Linux. Just for fun. Nice and easy one here. Who created Linux? Linux was created by Linus Torvalds. So now we have GPT in our console. And this is wonderful because now you can ask it things. Like uh, earlier today, I was like, SGPT, um, how do I install Redis on Ubuntu 22? And it may say, Oh, there it goes. See, look, and it even gives me the commands. And now I have the commands. All right. Now, you may be like, oh, no, the commands have rolled off the page and I can't see them anymore. Well, guess what? Uh, what's awesome is now we can do this because we are on a Linux command line. Watch what we can do. We can pipe things. So look, we can, I'm going to output this to a file. So we're going to put in here Redis. Uh, I don't know, commands, or here, we'll call it install underscore Redis. And I, this doesn't look like it's text. It looks like it's markdown. So let's, let's say dot markdown. And now let's go back here and say, how do I install Redis on Ubuntu 22? Please uh, reply in markdown format only and what will happen is is now you won't you won't see a re, uh, response obviously because the the streaming response coming from chat gpt is is going gpt4 is going is getting piped directly into that file so now if i cat that file uh install redis there it is and look sir oh now see it, it here's the problem though sometimes it doesn't quite obey um, and so it did put this certainly on the front. So I told it to only reply in Markdown, um, but it did it did 
do a little bit of extra there. So that that shows you that. Okay, so the sky is the limit with that, right? Um, you can pipe uh, stuff into it. And so I can do this. I can do S chat GPT and now go, um, what is in this file? Uh, and I can pipe cat uh, redis, oh, install redis.md. Oh, I did that backwards. My apology. Oh, wait. Yep, yeah, I did that. I did that backwards. I should have done it the other way. I should have catted cat install redis mg into uh, what is in this file. There we go. The content is a set of shell commands to install and manage the Redis service. Here is a breakdown of each command. So there you go. So the other thing that you can do is you can use the pipes to, I catted the file, I piped it into uh, shell GPT with some, uh, also a command. Pretty sweet, right? Um, and now I have to show you one more command and then we're going to be done with this short video. This was just meant to be a quick uh, video to show you how to use this is you can use the S flag for shell and you can ask it for specific commands. So this is uh, the one I was thinking about as an example. So I want to curl, um, I don't know, 127.0.0.1. Um, and I want to post this JSON. So it'll be, uh, let's make it some valid JSON name. Knox. And I got to close my quotes. And I think that'll curl post to this JSON. Okay, let's see if it, oh, I put GPT on the front, not SGPT. My bad. And so here's what it does when you do that. Look, it made the curl command for me. It's like, oh, you want curl, post. And then you have three options. You can either do execute, describe, or abort. Let's look at uh, describe. And it's going to say the curl command sets the post request with a JSON payload. And there you go. So this is wonderful. I, I use this all the time. No one remembers. I mean, I love Linux and I, I know a lot of, I'm pretty, pretty dangerous on the command line, but man, is it nice to just be able to ask uh, GP, shell GPT, hey, uh, I need this command to do this thing, can you please just make the command for me? I don't remember how to do it. It's wonderful. And of course I am super lazy. So I have an alias set up. So literally when I just have G. So I just put in G for SGPT and then uh, I do things like this, right? So uh, curl for the, I, I just thought of this, local weather in Indianapolis. Does it know how to do that? Nice. Let's see if it works. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, SGPT uh, is a really sweet tool. Remember, all you got to do is just pip install uh, shell, shell GPT. And, and you'll have it on your machine. Go get your API key, get it set up. And like I said, I have been putting this on every new Linux machine I have so that I have it available for me to be able to just have this functionality on all my servers. So, all right. I uh, hope you've enjoyed. See you later.